Avalanche 140, asinine or ahead of its time, a special edition of the 6th Street Podcast from Austin, Texas. Let's go over the history of Avalanche, right? Starts at $8, goes to $140. Then off FTX, it goes from like $100 to $30 in, I don't know, a couple weeks. So if you remember from high school math or not, it's like a sine wave. You go up and then you go down and then the sine wave continues and then you go right back up again. High school physics, speed, magnitude, and direction What goes down one way goes back up the same way. So you know how they say, uh, you know, stairs up, elevator down? Yeah, okay, well, you can toss out out onto 6th Street because it's elevator down, rocket ship up. And here's why. One, meme coins are exploding and that is the market paying people to get on the networks like Solana, Avalanche, and ETH. Avalanche has a security token functionality. What does that mean? It means eventually all this talk about tokenizing assets is going to help Avalanche. And when it comes to the prices that big institutions pay to get the tokenized assets, to get the liquidity, do you think they care whether they pay 40, 50, 60, 150, 200 dollars for Avalanche? No. ETH was at 80 and then it was at 4,000. So these networks can change in value dramatically. And if you go back to what happened with ETH last cycle, ETH did the whole move in like a couple of months. It just went vertical. So can Avalanche do that again? Yes, we can do it right out here on 6th Street. You know, Avalanche went from like 20 to 40 and everyone's like, oh, wow, that was, you know, good job, Bill. And listen, to my friends in Patreon, where you should be, link down below, I appreciate the love. One of my guys in Patreon's printing money, Avalanche is his second biggest holding. And everyone's like, oh, it's up too much. I can't buy it. Oh, I should take profits. No, you shouldn't. The train wreck last time was when you didn't take profits. The train wreck this time is if you take profits too early. So Avalanche 140, Solana 100. You're not good at technical analysis? Don't worry about it. Find the all-time high in your coin and that's where it's going. If there's a narrative behind it, which there is in Avalanche, boom. If you are a technical analyst, you gotta start looking at your charts through the lens of a fundamental shift where everything gets dramatically revalued and repriced back to when you had a lot of liquidity and a lot of hope for Web3. People in Avalanche may not want to hear this, but when that Solana phone disappeared off the shelf, that changed everything. So that means not only can Solana go up, obviously, but Avalanche is way underpriced, right? Up, up, up. Phantom. Uh, On the day this video was recorded, ICP was up 42%. Why can't Avalanche go up 42% in one day? Especially if it's 140 is the target. Oh, and by the way, to end the video, check out the Patreon, link down below, and that move to 140 in Avalanche can happen a lot faster than anybody thinks.